Welcome back everyone to another episode of Rick's Gadgets. Uh, another topic today on Home Seer. And what I want to do is show you how you can take Home Seer and use IFTTT to control uh, events or devices within your Home Seer. Uh, this is real handy as you can see here. Um, I use the uh, Google Wi-Fi router and IFTT has an application in there uh, when devices connect and disconnect from the service, uh, you can fire off events or triggers to HomeSeer, for example. And what this allows me to do is whenever we connect to the network, our cell phones, um, since everybody carries a cell phone now, it's a good indication to whether we're home or not. And this allows me to use my occupancy. Uh, if any of our cell phones connect to the network, I know that somebody's home. And when we're all gone, I know that the house is pretty much in an away status. So it's a good way you can use uh, events uh, within uh, another application to trigger something within HomeSeer. You can also do, uh, you know, if you get emails, you can have an event trigger. Uh, there's various things. Um, so to start off with, to get the system set up, you're first going to have to have uh, my home seer account. Um, I covered this in the past with you. Uh, what you do is you log in, you go to myhs.homeseer.com, and the screen's going to look, look something like this. You'll want to create your account, and what this does is it basically connects home seer to your home seer system, so it's kind of a gateway uh, to let the applications, like if you use the home seer app. Uh, it allows you to connect to, directly to your server and it makes setup a little bit easier. So what you want to do is, have, af after you have your HomeSeer account uh, set up through the MyHS account, you want to go over to uh, the IFTTT. And in here, you're going to go to your services and you'll just look for HomeSeer. And once you click on that, you want to. It'll probably prompt you since I already have it set up. You'll want to go to settings, and you'll want to connect your account. And uh, here, as you can see, my account's already connected, uh, and it says it's active. And once you get this set up, uh, now you can go over and what they call you can create applets. And here you can see I have a couple. Uh, I've been playing with the Life 360. Uh, that's another application you can run on your home seer, or not home seer, on your uh, phones that basically give you status of where you're at. Um, so if you don't have a Google Wi Fi router, you can use Life 360 to say if you've gotten home, uh, you know, turn on your events. So what you want to do is create a new applet. And in here, you're going to say if this, then that. So we're going to pick if this and here's where you can pick what type of event you want to happen if it's an email coming in um, a phone call comes in anything um, here I'm going to pick out the Google you know the Google Wi-Fi and what it's going to say is when a device connects or a device disconnects so I'm going to say when a device connects and it's going to load the device names um, and basically it'll give you a list of all the devices on your network. So I can say when my Amazon Echo uh, connects, I'm going to create a trigger. And now I'm going to pick the that. And here, since I've got my home seer, I use search home seer. And you can say turn on a device. And what I have on my home seer is I just have virtual devices. Well, you know, that'll work uh, a lot easier. Or you can have it turn on uh, a light uh, if you wanted to. Uh, but in here, I can just say, you know, I can pick, you know, my cell phone. And then I'll create the action. And once you get it complete, that's it. And uh, what it will happen is every time you connect and disconnect, it will come in here and uh, set your on off uh, event or uh, device and there you go. And I do want to mention one other thing here before I end the video. 
Uh, the way I did the create uh, a connection event, you had to do the same for an opposite. So let's say I want it to turn it off. So I have to do a, a, a different trigger on IFTT for connecting and then one for disconnecting. So you have to have two if you want to do an on-off scenario. Um, another thing to watch out for with IFTTT, uh, I used to have an event uh, when I got, you can set a GPS uh, range on your phone and if you come within a certain area it would fire off an event. Um, I used to do that for my garage door so when I would come in and get within you know 50 yards of the house or you know a circle around the house it would open my garage door and the same thing when I would leave it would close the garage door. Uh, I had mixed results with that I finally quit using it because uh, a lot of times the phone was slow to update GPS location and I would already be in the house, close the door and all of a sudden my garage door would open because you have to have special events set up if you're going to use something like the garage door because if it's open you don't want to send the command because it's just going to close it. So you have to check and make sure the door is open to, if you're coming in to make sure it doesn't do the opposite of what you want it to do. So it's a little bit more involved in setting up events like uh, the garage door. But just want you to warn you kind of like the proximity based using your cell phone. It doesn't always work. That's why I try to use either my Google router or something like Life360 um, and see if it has better results with that. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Uh, if you do, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. And thank you and look forward to coming back and checking out my later videos.